um, a concept study of a race vehicle, which is equipped with a H2 engine. And our ambition, of course, was uh, to bring a real vehicle here to, to Le Mans, which is ready to race. Um, and uh, this is what we're going to introduce to you. And we means um, it's Jack Nicolet. Jack is uh, the president of Ligier Automotive. And uh, my name is Johannes Jörg Rüger. I'm the president of Bosch Engineering, located in Germany. So, we go to the next slide. Let's talk about our key competences. Why the combination of Ligier and uh, Bosch Engineering? Our home turf as Bosch Engineering, of course, is electronics and engine controls and anything which is related to engine management. And hence, uh, we worked on the H2 part of the uh, of the engine uh, of the storage of course and uh, to control the storage that was part of what we've been doing and uh, we have three tanks equipped in the vehicle that you will see in a couple of seconds um, of course our part was the e architecture as well and the overall tank system control and now I hand over to Jack to talk about Ligier competences let's see how it Merci à vous tous d'être là avec nous. Euh, on, a, on a fait un, une très très bonne équipe. Euh, ah, sorry. <laughs> uh, we made a, a very good team with, uh, with Bosch because we, we share all uh, our competencies. Bosch on his side uh, with the technology uh, hydrogen and on our side on what we are able, uh, all what we are able to do with the, with the use of the carbon uh, fiber, the composite with uh, one of our uh, company in Italy, uh, HP Composite. And uh, we, we fully uh, applied the, the, all what we know in, uh, in the race and uh, for sure in a race car. So we, we develop a car uh, ready to race and we, we anticipate a little bit the, the next rules uh, from uh, the ACO in uh, 2026 to be, uh, to be ready, to be in time. And, um, and uh, we, we did it with, uh, with uh, Bosch. Uh, we started uh, in November, in last November and the car uh, uh, will be uh, was on the track uh, two weeks uh, two weeks ago. So um, we are really, really ready to race. Yeah, thank you very much. And then now it's uh, probably time not to leave you hanging anymore. And we're going to unveil the vehicle, right, Jack? As you can see here, and if you have time later on to come a little bit closer, this is not just a prototype which somehow is equipped with an H2 engine. This um, is a demo vehicle which is uh, ready to drive already, and uh, we are still in calibration of the vehicle also from a dynamics perspective, and we're gonna offer that uh, for driving for our customers in September. Uh, Ligier and ourselves Bosch Engineering. Uh, so it's an, it's clearly our ambition to have something which is ready for driving. But uh, talking about challenges too, and of course, um, if you do that, uh, such a new technology, you need to overcome challenges. You see some on the on the slide here. First, um, Jack has mentioned in the beginning the short time frame for the development, starting in November and being here in mid of June and having a car. Uh, car which has already been on a racetrack for a couple of weeks is uh, is a fabulous achievement of the whole team. Um, of course, um, we had needed to uh, convert the the engine to H2, so we took um, 
an existing V6 engine, converted that to H2. We had to do all the packaging, that was more on the Ligier side, of course. The tank control was, uh, was an important part, and important for us, too, was uh, to have a safety concept, basically, which is ready to race. So, really, a design which, from the start, uh, was done in order to be a, a vehicle which is safe and, and ready to race and very mature. So, some of the characteristics you see on the slide here. I mentioned already, it's a V6, a converted V6 gasoline engine. Um, we added um, some stuff, of course, on the H2 side. You see the power characteristics, like uh, 420 kilowatts. This is a real measured value. So this is no simulation yet, or no simulation anymore, if you want. And uh, this is not the end of story yet. Um, so we're gonna, gonna further improve the power output of the engine. Uh, 650 Newton meter um, up to 280 kilometers per hour uh, and a weight which is uh, acceptable for a race car 1450 kilogram so this is not over the top like it would be with a pure battery electric vehicle that was our ambition and that's what we achieved already so far and uh, yeah I mentioned before um, in the summertime we're gonna further improve the performance on the end of the engine but also of the vehicle and offer that for our customers for driving in September. And now to prove to you that this is not just a car sitting here and I'm talking about ready to race but maybe it's not moving so we have a movie uh, included here on the slide on the next slide which shows you the car driving. Unfortunately the sound um, didn't work as, uh, as we wanted, but I guess um, the sound with the noise in the background would be difficult to hear anyway. So just look at the movie and, uh, and look at the characteristics. Yeah. Thank you. So again, on behalf of, uh, of Jack and myself, thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I would like to, to, thank, uh, to thank very much all the executive committee of the ACO to, to be there. I know it was uh, difficult in the timetable, uh, but uh, we really appreciate. And I would like also to, to say uh, a big uh, thank Thank you to uh, Carol Capitaine, uh, who is behind uh, <laughs> the wall, behind me, <laughs> we, uh, for, his, uh, for our welcome uh, in the village, in the hydrogen uh, village. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, of course, we are open for questions. Thank you. Questions, questions.